to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There is no need for a witness until there is a contention. When you contend in the court of law as to the validity of a statement, then you are asked to bring in a witness and that every witness has an evidence your evidence is your token of truthfulness it is that which gives you the credence to defend whatever it is that you're defending hallelujah praise the name of the lord and for us in this kingdom the supernatural please listen carefully the supernatural and the miraculous is our witness that means that we demonstrate the validity of jesus he's been alive he's been exalted he's been enthroned through and by the manifestation of miracles signs and wonders according to scriptures the the, the authorized instruments of validating christ and validating the reality of his reign his person his dominion is the miraculous hallelujah in john chapter 2 from verse 11 the wedding in cana and then we'll go to verse 23 the bible says this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him pay attention please go back to verse go back to verse 11 it says this beginning of miracles it did not stop this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him are you seeing that that means by this performance of the miraculous he showed that he was an effective witness in fact when you read revelation chapter 1 jesus himself is called the faithful witness is that true verse 23 of the same john chapter 2 the bible says now when he was in jerusalem so we see what he did in cana of galilee when he was in jerusalem at the passover in the feast day the bible says many believed in his name why when they saw the miracles which he did not when he told them he was jesus in this kingdom listen to me the strengthener of the convictions of men is the miraculous when people receive the gospel the message of jesus christ backed up with power genuine miracles the bible says it sustains an ability to compel men to believe john chapter 6 from verse 1 and 2 people will also follow you and follow jesus in the presence of the miraculous the bible says after these things jesus went over the sea of galilee which is the sea of tiberias verse 2 read with me please one to read and a great multitude followed him why because they saw his miracles which he did on them that were diseased they followed him whoever is able to demonstrate the reality of god i need to follow him can i tell you sincerely believers in this end time men are not stupid they are not going to find themselves wasting their time in a place where there is no performance of the reality of the power and the grace of god the bible says where the carcasses are they are the eagles now imagine this our father who was healed now completely paralyzed from this demonic thing 
and in a moment he's been healed do you know what will happen when this man goes back home imagine that you laughed at him and said go to that your place and then he returns back walking that is already a salmon is that true they followed him because they saw the miracles which he did on them that were diseased i will continue to emphasize that this gospel that we have been given is not just a message like a lecture the gospel was supposed to be backed up with power power to change power to restore power to transform power to lift power to make that when people sit under the influence of the gospel certain things should happen to them they should not only be saved as far as their eternal destiny is concerned but even while they are on earth the power to transform the power to lift people out of their yokes and their situations are we together look at the wonderful testimonies marvelous things done by the hand of god we need to know and we need to let the world know that jesus is still alive i remember rw shambach of blessed memory he would shout and shout and look at people whilst he's doing his radio program and he would shout and say don't touch that dial and ask them to stay because he was about to pray for them and he would pray and you would see all kinds of miracles manifestations of the power of god and you would later hear that hardened criminals or individuals who vowed to not have anything to do with jesus in the presence of dramatic notable continuous signs and wonders they are broken by the power of the holy spirit do you know one thing that is powerful about the miraculous the miraculous forces you to admit that there is a god and authority above you you see listen carefully we live in a world where people have all kinds of theological opinions as far as god is concerned when someone who is lying down on a stretcher or someone on a crutch or someone wherever just stands up like that it immediately tells you that there has to be a god in heaven and if that god is truly alive as demonstrated by that miracle then it means he has the power to turn lives around how about someone who comes to church like some of our dear people here trusting god for a job and now is having the privilege of having multiple jobs it now tells you there is such a thing as favor so next time you hear that the grace for favor is coming on you anytime you want to doubt the holy spirit will fetch from the memory of that testimony and tear down that doubt are we together now one time i remember a, a lady who was pregnant through story and she was about to give birth but it was like nothing was happening for hours and hours according to her now she had been in the bank i, I said the bank the hospital and they asked her to even walk around up and down she came back lay down again this thing was not coming and they said look it's like they gave her some time that if it does not happen they may have to induce her or maybe perform a cs and she was sick and tired she was tired you know she just felt fed up and i don't know what happened she sent a text i think i was studying or i was doing something then and i saw the text i just thought to reply and then i called her i said what is this she was so happy she said i've been here a long time and i just sensed the power of god i said that baby without delay come out now god is my witness i stand before the god of heaven i don't think he was up to five minutes and she just gave birth like that now let me tell you this the miracle is not just for her it's for everyone who is mocking god within that world or that hospital if you are also pregnant too and you watch somebody make a call two of you are suffering and crying and hoping that this thing will work fast and someone just makes a call it doesn't matter who was the other at the other side of the phone and she gives birth immediately what will you do
are you see listen to me are you seeing that evangelism is easy when there are results evangelism is easy in the presence of notable results please believers hear me we are, we, are, we are called into a life that demonstrates the reality of the power and the glory and the grace of God. Most of you are here now seated. Some of you have locked up your businesses. Some of you have left many busy things you should be doing. Some of you, your own assemblies. It will be unfair to just sit down and waste your time and share the grace. No, sir. That by the time you are done here, as you are going home, it's testimonies that will be distracting you. Distracting you. Distracting you. You want to rest and another one comes. Please sit down. It's good to be a good preacher, a communicator of truth. But it's best to be a good and powerful preacher. One who has both the message and the backing the message and the backing the message and the backing believe me i have with all humility he has granted me the privilege of working in this reality of the miraculous and you would think that after many years of seeing this thing i would be tired and i would get used to it every single manifestation of god's power comes anew and afresh again do you know why because you look at the lives of people who have received this thing and you look at the economic advantage that that miracle has brought to them you look at the relational advantage it has brought to them So you are here seated and business is not working. You are in debt. Everything is scattered. Your life is gone haywire. Probably your rent or your building, everything. And then brothers and sisters, just like that, something from heaven through a man just rests on your life. And God says, I've sorted you. And you go back and doors begin to open for you. It is true. And in case you don't believe it you are welcome that's exactly why you should be here where else should an unbeliever be in an arena where he can believe let me show you two more scriptures there are conditions for us to receive acts 6 8 when I was studying and I found this scripture, it really blessed me. The Bible says, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Stephen, full of faith and power. That means it took the union of faith and the power of the Holy Ghost for great wonders and miracles to happen. It will always take faith and the anointing listen carefully it will always take faith in jesus christ faith in the vessel that he will use and then the power of the holy spirit upon the vessel that will be used by god this is what produces miracles the bible says stephen he was full he didn't just have it that means it is possible for a man to have faith and power but not be full of it is that true there are certain vehicles where if the gas the fuel is on reserve certain features in the car will stop functioning to help conserve fuel have you seen that kind of thing happen that's how it can be in your life that by the time you are not full of faith and power to be able to conserve you and manage you some dimensions will have to be shut down but when you are full of power you go to the gas station and fire that gas into that car and you now see the potential of that car the aces are on everything functioning at maximum strength this is one of the reasons why impartation is powerful this is one of the reasons why the word of god is powerful you can be full of faith and you can be full of power don't say i have faith don't say i have power there are different measures of it in acts chapter 2 they were filled with the holy ghost in acts chapter 4 they were filled with the holy ghost again in ezekiel 47 there were four levels of an encounter with that river 
so you might be here as a man of god you might be here as a preacher the head of a prayer group somewhere and you've seen a measure of faith and power it's time to upgrade this thing so that certain possibilities that are not happening in your life can begin to happen if you're with me say amen, amen. the bible says stephen full of faith and power faith and power faith and the anointing the assignment of faith is to connect you to the power of god the assignment of the power of god is to is to insist that the word of god that has been declared that it comes to pass you have to understand this faith in itself does not give you power faith is a connector your convictions and the assignment of faith is to commit god once god is committed his power flows through that funnel of your faith to your situation it is the divine power of god that does the work of correcting of restoring of creating are you learning in galatians chapter 3 and verse 5 the bible says he therefore that ministered to you the spirit and worketh miracles among you question do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing that produces faith you see it now so he tells you how you can get that faith and that power if i am to minister there is something i am bringing as a man of god i am bringing my faith in jesus christ and i'm bringing the power of the holy spirit invested in me that is my contribution to that miracle your own contribution you don't need power your own contribution is your faith in jesus and your faith in the vessel please understand this i rebuke distraction in jesus name you have to get this this is how the miraculous works so if you are in need of a miracle here's how it works the man of god or the vessel who will be used by god what is his contribution in that equation of the miraculous i will tell you his contribution is his faith in jesus that connects him to the power of god his second contribution is that investment of spiritual power given to him either by the election of grace or through his personal press in the things of god or both are we together now on your own part the recipient of that and of that miracle what is your contribution number one to believe in jesus christ and then number two to believe the vessel that he is going to be using it, it it is important that you believe in jesus but then that you also believe in the vessel when there is that combination faith from your own part faith in jesus faith in the vessel from the man of god his faith in jesus christ and the power of god given to him there is nothing that will stop that miracle if that miracle every time the miraculous does not happen these are the four things to check on your own part your faith in jesus or number two the degree and dimension of spiritual power that is at work in you may not be sufficient to produce that degree of miracle on the part of the recipient his faith in jesus christ and the bible here says that there is the hearing of faith that means the operation of the miraculous starts with the the declaration of the word which is the basis for faith faith comes by hearing are we learning something tonight yes the bible says how that when peter went at the hour of prayer he went to pray and he saw a man who was lame from birth at gates beautiful and he looked at them expecting to receive something so the man had faith he had faith in whatever they were doing and had faith in the vessels because he looked at them expecting to receive are we together now and then peter came and said silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk he believed in peter but he did not believe in what peter said so he sat down and there was no miracle next verse peter teaches us that he took him by the right hand 
he had to prime his faith mister if you keep looking at me you're going to sit down there forever are you seeing why we prompt people who receive to take action based on acts chapter 3 verse 7 so if you are on a stretcher and prayer has come and they say do what you could not do it is like peter taking him by the right hand because there are people who just sit down there and the moment there is no action there is no miracle God, listen to me john 2 fetch of the water and take to the priest the bible says, as they went the 10 lepers go and show yourself to the priest the bible says as they went the man who was blind go and wash in siloam as he went are we together now notice that it was at the instance of action that there was a performance the word of god comes the power of god is released to confirm that word action is taken on your own part to connect with the power of god then the miraculous happens for you this is true in the area of finances this is true in the area of oppression so if there are demons hiding and sitting quietly as they are hearing me talk like this they will not leave you know why they will not leave because a decree has not been given for them to leave and you have not responded based on the instruction that makes them to leave so until then there might be a basis for them to hide behind people and situations now you understand what will happen in a few minutes here now right that a decree comes by the power of God usually to come in form of an instruction even like you are hearing now and as you respond to that instruction leave the rest for God the moment you respond the power of God like a tornado collides with that spirit have you seen a bulldozer bringing down a house or any of these these giant machines it will tear down the house like a piece of paper that's what the power of god does with demon spirits and anything that is antichrist the only thing that is spared when the power of god moves is that which has the signature of christ on it once it does not have the signature of christ it is called power against there is power against like development control can mark certain houses and say bulldozer once you see x don't ask questions you just bulldoze it that's what the holy ghost does he will mark certain things in your life financial limitation x you see that now different things now power of god you can come and i tell you the power of god the 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 angels are there is a coordinated work and scatter everything that does not look like christ how did jericho fall he received an instruction the hearing of faith are we together now he taught the people and communicated that instruction they took action as touching their faith in jesus and their faith in joshua and on the seventh day they went seven times and he said shout sometimes when you see me tell you okay shout the name jesus it's not ritual i'm showing you these things from scripture that shout is called the healer it's a shout that is able to bring mountains down every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome yeah. every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome prophesy every high thing say every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown so next time listen to me when someone begins to ask you how did it happen you can tell them there is a part that i can explain but there is a part i cannot explain the part of my believing god and my believing his servant i can explain it 
the part of his servant believing God I can explain the part of power coming on his servant I can explain but the part of power producing the result I cannot explain the Bible says just as you do not know how the way of the wind or how bones are formed in her that is with child so you do not know the way of God the the spiritual dynamics of that miracle is beyond your realm so don't ask me how your destiny helper will find you in Abuja. Uh -uh, uh -uh, that you are now entering a realm that is more than that is not for you. You just know that once my faith connects to Jesus, my faith connects to his servant. The servant of God's faith connects to Jesus and connects to power. When power is allowed to come, there is no limit to what can happen i'm teaching you a powerful equation that you will have to use right away apostle how will my life change you can't you can't realize how many pages of prayer requests i wrote every one of them is the same formula that will bring it on your own part i've come prepared on my own part you see there is a two-fold assignment as far as releasing the miraculous is concerned. Number one is my faith in Jesus Christ. And you ask him whether I believe him, in him or not. Number two, connection to his power, you see. So when we spend time with him to build capacity, we want to be full of faith and power. Not just to have faith and power. Having faith and power is not enough. You must be full of it for mighty wonders and miracles to happen. You are here tonight, as different as our faces are, so are situations. For others, it may be a financial situation, I presume for most people. For others, it may be a health situation, a demonic verdict by Satan. For others, it may be a family situation. The devil just wants to come and sit on the destiny of a family and tear them apart. For others, it may be your career. For others, it may be patterns of wickedness and witchcraft and all kinds of satanic things. For others, you don't even know what is wrong with you. You came so that God will help you find out what in the world is wrong. You are still welcome. For others, lack of children, barrenness, yoke that the devil has just placed upon people. An embargo. For others that they will not rise beyond certain realms or not even rise at all how about people who lose all kinds of things i once counseled a family years ago who true story that every time they receive any lump amount once it is a substantial amount darkness it looks like sickness will just blow it up in that family from mother sick father sick they, they will keep having a relay of sickness until the money finishes then you find out with the hospital or not everything will finish then i pray for this woman who had a young lady a young daughter and i've heard people talk about matching charm and all these kinds of things and quite honestly i've not paid attention to it until i saw a leg that actually went through that thing when you see that leg you know how you boil potatoes you know how you boil yam that's how that leg was looking I said what in the world is this it was like the only thing that was left is just for doctors to finish their this and then they they now amp amputate it and cut it off how about these demonic things of objects moving in people's bodies have you heard those things some of you have those things they move around roam around as as no no and then you talk of strange dreams and occurrences like someone shared here you go to bed you are happy desiring to go forward you find yourself writing all kinds of nonsense an exam that never finishes a hole that you never see the end primary school doing all kinds of things you are seeing yourself with dead relatives that have gone this one is not cloud of witness this is demons just help those under the anointing there wicked spirits that just come some of those things are the spirit of the grave calling you i hope you know the grave has a voice oh yes sir it does that it can call men 
and say come to us please help them Parash and anybody here who that call has been coming over you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God we silence the voice of the grave now please say I shall not die shout it say I shall not die but leave say it again I shall not die don't sit down listen to me listen to me listen to me listen to me your reality is based on what you believe not what your neighbor believes your reality is blessed is she not them that believe for unto her not unto them there shall be a performance don't sit down and allow a defeated life and smile over it again continue to contend until victory is won are we together the hearing of faith what does the hearing of faith do it makes you to have faith in Jesus and to have faith in the vessel that he will use my own part is to study scriptures and be convinced to have faith in God mark chapter 11 from verse 22 23 24 Jesus himself is teaching us through the story of the fig tree mark 11 from verse 22 Jesus was answering said have faith in God next verse it says verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith the rule is in verse 24 therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe 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 that ye receive them and you shall have them notice three important words there believe receive have there is a difference between receiving and having you can only have what you have received if you have not received it you cannot have it receiving is a spiritual activity having means that it is manifest here and now in your life believe receive have dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaskade Bashkana Kata Branda Katekos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.